Hello! Hi, did y'all miss me? <laughs> Probably not. I missed you guys though, and that's all that matters. My feelings are the only thing that matters on this channel. Hi, I'm Morgan. <laughs> So, believe it or not, YouTube does not pay everyone enough money to live in LA and drink overpriced coffee every day and drive Teslas. And I'm one of those people. I have 17 cents in my bank account. <laughs> so anyways, with that being said, your girl has to make money. So what am I gonna do with my life, you know? And that's when I stumbled across an ad, like, for a job that just seems perfect for me. So I was like, um, I love David Dobrik, but how freaking cool would it be to be his assistant, you know? Like what, what are the odds that he's looking for like an assistant and I could still be in like the YouTube field? Like I could still do my own thing, but I could also make some money being David Dobrik's assistant. So I'm gonna be applying to be David Dobrik's assistant. And I thought, why not like bring you guys along with it, teach you guys how to type up a little resume um, to make a good impression. Just bit my tongue when I said that, that hurt. <laughs> Ow! Just teach you guys how to make a smashing resume. It's gonna be dazzling. Anyone will hire you. Don't look off, please. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Watch this video all the way through or else you'll be cursed for 10 years and you will not get a job anywhere. I don't make the rules, it's just like what someone told me. I don't know. All right, so I have my laptop down here. Here she is. First things first, I know how to work a laptop. So, David, Davey boy, if you're watching this, I'm just saying. Ah, that's not what I was trying to do. I'm gonna start a new Google Doc and we can begin with our resume. But, obviously it's like a known rule you need to dress for success, like whatever job field you're going into, you need to dress appropriately. That is much more fitting and already I'm 10 times more likely to get the job. Get it? Cause like David wears a, a black hat. That's where I was, that was the joke. So if you didn't get it, now you do. It looks like a freaking duck. Okay, anyways, I know some people do like a general resume to send into any job, but this is going to be really catered towards David and being his assistant. Should I call him Mr. Dobrik? So the first thing that you need for your resume is a cover photo, and you really want to grab the whoever's doing the hiring, you really want to grab their attention. So I'm going to title it, obviously Morgan, age, got to put that, 20. That's about it. You just need to put your age and your name. You wanna make sure that you're bold, because we're bold, we're confident, right? And you're gonna go ahead and change the size just so it's really there. And then you're gonna change the color. So whatever color you like, I personally like pink, so I'm gonna do pink. And then you're gonna clarify like, job applying for David Dobrik's assistant. And then on the cover page, I wanna make sure I include a photo. I'm gonna go to insert and go ahead and enter just a quick little photo that I put together just to like grab his attention and show what we would look like as like that dynamic duo. That looks awesome. Okay, so we're gonna enter down to a new page and I'm gonna change the color of my font because Hello, you don't want them to get bored. I mean, this is like professional stuff. You don't need to joke around. So like, if you use the same color in your resume text, come on, grow up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the big thing out of the way. I know what you're thinking. Morgan, David already has an assistant. Natalie, hello. Well. Well. <laughs> Turns out the whole reason that he's hiring a new assistant is because, I mean, like, obviously, him and Natalie got something going on. Like, we all know it. But they haven't, like, confirmed it because nobody wants to date their assistant. You know, like, that just, like, would cause weird tension in the relationship, you know? So, I would just want to squash the rumors right away of, like, me, like, stealing Natalie's job or, like, me having things going on with David. And me and my homegirl Natalie would obviously hang out. She seems like a cool girl. 
So I went ahead and put together this photo of me and Natalie just to show like the public that there's no issues between us. I'm gonna go ahead and type out a little explanation just to clarify. There will be no jealousy between Natalie and I. I would actually really love to be her friend. I've attached a photo to show what it would look like if <laughs> me and Natalie were friends. And then you just wanna add a little smiley face every now and then just to show that you're happy. It would be my honor to take on her current assistant job so she and David could move forward with their relationship. Perfect. Okay, and then going along with like me being with Natalie and being cool with like me being the new assistant, them doing their thing, you know. Also, I would be around the vlog squad a lot. Obviously, I have to like fit in with the vlog squad, you know, like I have to rep the merch like every day and that's like something I'm willing to do, you know, like, you know what, instead of talking about it, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys. I like put another photo together really quick, like it was nothing. Here is what I would look like as the newest addition to the vlog squad as your assistant, of course. I personally think I add an interesting dynamic to the group. Haven't really figured out why yet, but I just know I do. Sounds good? Okay. Honestly, at this point of the resume, if they've read this far and haven't hired me yet, I don't, like, that's just like not, the probability of that happening is not possible. Like they're gonna see this and hire me. Okay, so we're kind of reaching towards the end. He's kind of getting a feel for what I would be like in his life, you know? Next is kind of more for me, like how my life would be a little bit different. I would have to be getting used to like being in the vlogs, obviously. I know that David like tends to like surprise people with like snakes and stuff like that. So I have to get ready for like the surprises. And I have like a really ugly cry face. So I think I just need to go ahead and get that out there. So it's not like this awkward conversation we have to have later on. And also also, like, I thought I could just go ahead and, like, like, make a thumbnail if he were to buy me a car using SeatGeek. It's not like, I'm not, like, expecting it. I just, like, picked a random car. I'm gonna put that in the resume as well so he can see that, one, I'm good at making thumbnails, and two, he'll know that I'm okay with being in the vlogs. Here's what a thumbnail made by me would look like like all right and then we've reached the end so i thought i would go ahead and be a little funny it's been so serious and so like by this time they're probably so tired of reading through my resume like something that's boring you know i thought i would add a little joke in here a little photoshop picture of i'll just show you because there's like a pun that goes with it like all i know all of this has been kind of like very boring and like okay morgan this is stuff I don't wanna hear, like office talk, but this is funny, okay? Are you ready? In conclusion, you, David Dobrik, were the people's choice. Can I be your choice? Done. So now we just have to print this out, ship it off in the mail, and I don't know, maybe like, I don't know. I'll hear back and be David's new assistant. Who knows? I mean, like, I don't understand why I wouldn't get hired, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you can use some of these tips for your own um, applications, but like, don't apply to be David's assistant because like, that would just be doing me dirty. Like, you're not my competition. <laughs> and like, I'm gonna get the job, so don't even, don't even go there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck with your job hunting and I hope this helped you at all in any way. Yeah. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.